Welcome to Weekly Recap. Joey and Dave here. We're going to be going through pop culture events, stuff that's been going on just in the world. And then most importantly, what music came out that we like, what we've been listening to, just what are, what vibes are we on from the week before, how are we feeling going into the week. So starting off, this Drake and Bobby stuff. Drake and Bobby. Everyone's talking about it. It's pretty spicy. It's, it's just interesting. All right. So everyone knows Drake went on Bobby's podcast out of nowhere. This chick that no one's heard of. Crazy viral, blows up, everyone loves that, and then it kind of like goes through a series of not like, cons- well, I guess they are kind of conspiracies, we'll just call them theories, theories. where Big it's time. basically Bobby takes down the interview and they unfollow each other after they seemed super tight, so it's like, what happened? And my theory is it's all for PR. I mean, why... It's keeping us talking about her. The interview is over. She's interviewed Lil Yachty, Mark Cuban, and Tyga since then. And it's like, people are still talking about it. People are watching it. Obviously, she's getting millions of views. But everyone's still talking about the Drake interview. And they posted the thing where, like, she posted a TikTok at his concert, kind of in character, not vibing. Which is, like, they think that Drake didn't like that. I don't think Drake gives a fuck about that. I don't think Drake gives a fuck at all. I think all of this is just a big strategy. Drake does this stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. He's a publicity guy. You know, he just pulls these stunts. I think this is something else that's just around that. I also think Bobby's very strategic with the way that she posts content, yeah. pulls down content. And then the other thing to add to pulling down that interview is now people are re uploading that interview almost like it's rare to even have the footage and then it keeps on getting taken down Mm. so it gives that a little bit more value on youtube to watch like something that's not supposed to be up there so that too um and yeah i think it it overall just like reinvigorates the fire of that media press so yeah it keeps us talking about the industry plant that is bobby i don't think they were banging i don't yeah that shit's so dumb the case because that's the other one i mean people cheat but i don't think it's very likely no yeah Talking to your mic just a little bit more. Okay. Get, get real sensual on that guy. Okay, we really gotta we gotta press lips. Oh yeah, we're getting mic. intimate on these okay. mics. We're spreading COVID through these mics if we need to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think it's just a big PR stunt because the other thing is they think that they hooked up, and I just don't think that's true. I yeah. don't think she would cheat on her husband, who she has two kids with, for Drake out of nowhere. You know, it's just, not at all. I don't think that's. I, don't I think, think that's, that's stupid. I think people are dumb for that. All right, yeah. moving on. Have you heard about? Spain's head coach and like what's going on with that no okay so FIFA World Cup women's like Spain women's team wins and they had like I think it was like five or six star players that played before that basically went on strike to get the manager which is soccer's football's version of a head coach Mm -hmm. fired because he's kind of a sleazeball Mm -hmm. regardless of that Spain comes out wins the whole thing Mm -hmm. During the celebration, the head coach has a picture of him kissing one of the players on the mouth unconsensually. What? Yeah. It was like one of those, we won, and (laughs) grabs her and brings her in for a kiss. Okay. And it's like, you can, she talked about it in the locker room. She was like, I did not like that. Right. And then there's pictures of him um, picking up players and like throwing them over his shoulder. Mm Mm-hmm. And just like skeezy things is another one of him like grabbing his crotch and like thrusting <laughs> as they were like <laughs> away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so obviously this is all like really skeezy shit. And it's like this guy sucks. Mm-hmm. He he's a fuck and he just needs to quit. Right. Because he's gonna get fired. Sure. So he issues an apology, talking basically not really apologizing though. Mm. And then everyone's like, All right, he apologized, now he's gonna resign. He comes out in like almost a dictator format. He's like, I will not resign. I will not resign. And it's like they pants to the crowd and it's like people kind of like hesitantly <laughs> clapping. Oh, oh, is this good? It's yeah. like it, you can tell they're all just like absolutely filthy rich guys like invested in the team or something yeah. like that. Because it's not like a full press conference. Maybe it is. I don't know. But everyone just looks really rich. And it's like there's some guys that are like, yeah, that's my boy. Mm-hmm. And there's other people that are like fuck's going on right now so now the entire team has gone on strike oh wow okay which is like good because this guy needs to 
get fucking fired. Right. That like, sounds like the worst guy ever you would want <laughs> as any sort of power figure. And he looks like a sleaze ball. Okay. Too. Yeah. I'm not discriminating against bald people here, but you know, like some bald guys are sleazy. Sure. Not yeah. saying all like bald people are sleazy. Greasy. But they're car sleazy guys. Bald guy. Yeah. Yeah. The used car salesman vibes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kissing yeah. people in the mouth. So that's just. It's just developing still because it's mm-hmm. like you have an entire team of players that are like, fuck this guy and you're going to keep him around for what? Yeah. For what? Why? That's just no no pros to that. No. I don't know the guy's name either, but either way, that guy fucking sucks. Well, that's funny. I mean, it's not funny because <laughs> that's bad and that shouldn't happen, but that's funny that the way that he went down with that. I will not resign. I will not resign. That's I will not re- It's like, dude, what? He should resign, though. He, he needs should, to. He was, yeah. He, he should needs be fired, to be really. fired, canceled, yeah. blackballed from all, all soccer. Sports. Yeah. All, no. Not just not, like, all sports. Yeah. Never coach again. Yeah. Never have any Don't any let power. him near a little league team, Mm-mm. high school team. Absolutely not. Absolutely nothing. Right. And the guy's fucking loaded, man. He yeah. can ride off in the sunset and be fine. Yeah. Which is unfortunate that shitty people like that can do that. But sure. it's you a little can. controversial, but I think everyone's kind of like, no one's on this guy's side. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not controversial because there should be no other side to it. This fuckhead needs to be fired. But it's just it's right. just wild. And I figured you hadn't heard about that. No, not at all. It. Not at all. Not one bit. Yeah. I've not seen one post about that. So that is that is good. Yeah. That's good to know. those that don't know, Dave is not really on social media. I'm not. So... It's up to me to inform him, so I'm going to keep him informed. Yeah, this is just my weekly download of what goes on on Instagram because I get to check it for seven minutes a day. Yeah. That, that's it. I mean, so. fair. That's why we're here. Last thing. This I do know you know about. Trump got arrested. He did. And we're not here to talk about politics. No. He got his mugshot taken. Yes. But the biggest thing... <laughs> Is he told them that he was 6'3", which is believable because he's tall. Yeah, he is tall. 215 pounds. Yeah. No, sir. 200. I'm 225, <laughs> yeah. and I'm six foot five. <laughs> Trump's round ass does is not 10 pounds lighter than me. There's just like... I don't... I want to know like what that interaction was like. I'd picture it being like, right, I'm President Trump. I'm 215 pounds, and the guy's just like... Okay, <laughs> I just fill out my frame well. It's it's two fifteen. It's, it's, it's all muscle. It's the greatest muscle in the world. <laughs> Scientists have proven it. Yeah, yeah. I I just saw that and I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Who's believing that? I mean, did they put it down two fifteen? Yes. I guess the cop. I I think it's one of those things like when you go for your driver's license, they just ask you your height right. and they weight. They can't be like, That's not right. Yeah. Tell me your real weight. So like guys. That may or may not be above six foot can mm-hmm. be like, yeah, I'm six one, and then well, get it on their license. Honestly, to show girls. what if he has like no muscle and it's all fat? I think it is. I don't he, think he has any muscle. And he's just a feathery two fifteen. No, a feathery. He is not. Six, he is two hundred and seventy pounds. He's obese. He just has suits that hide it well. Oh no, he's really fat. I know. That. <laughs> yeah. I know he's really fat. He's not. A shapely so well he is shapely but in the wrong way um <laughs> but yeah i i don't think he's actually 215 um but that's crazy i think that mugshot is so interesting yeah for the wrong reasons but it's crazy that they're that's the first one of any president or former president I mean, which is makes, good yeah there shouldn't be mugshots of presidents it makes that's sense. a win for us that they're not getting arrested but that's just crazy. Like I saw that. And I was, when I saw that clip or that picture, I was like, that's not real. <laughs> I did not think it was real. And I was like, that's NBC News. No way. This is a fake account. And I clicked on it. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. That's real. What? He looks like a straight up supervillain in it. Yeah. I like that he has a suit on. Like his. Oh, of course. He's got his classic suit. I think that's fine. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. He's got his, his yeah. classic like navy blue with, with the, the red, red tie. tie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's He wouldn't go down any other way. Just iconic for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Yeah. But I, looking like a supervillain. I wish it was I wish he didn't suck as much as he does so that could be like a cool t-shirt or something. Well, he's making t-shirts out of it. So a lot of people started <sighs> making t-shirts of it instantly. Yeah. Obviously. I'm sure. That's and the, first thing I thought. the annoying part is Trump's now owning up to it and selling T-shirts of his own mugshot. And I was like, I knew he'd do yeah. it. 
He's a smart businessman. Of course he would. But He's a of, rebel. He's a badass former president. <laughs> He's, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, what music came out this week that you like? I feel like I know, but I don't. Little Yachi. Yeah. Got that Tesla boy. I feel, I feel like the Tesla EP four singles in one package thing really solidified the other songs for me i also like the cover it's like a cool art it is a cool cover for sure uh but yeah i think those other three songs like holster or strike holster strike holster slide and there's another one where i don't really know the actual name or how to say it um but yeah i mean those songs are also good i think tesla is the best one he has like playboy cardi ad-libs in it though which i think is interesting But it I sounds think it's him though. It sound, yeah, it is him. Okay. Yeah, he's just making like the bing, uh sounds. So I think that song is good though, and I ma- it made me like the other songs better. And yeah, I just like that he's doing rap, but still keeping it like psychedelic and sort of electro. I think that's cool. Yeah. I don't think he's the best at doing it, but I think he's good. He's found his lane. Yeah. Like he's. Let's start here. I said this last night to Dave. It's still. One of my top albums of this year and freaking Post Malone and Travis Scott have dropped this year. I'm still mm-hmm. saying that. It's so creative. It's so out there. Yeah. And I think he's like, all right, I did that. I'm really good at that. But let's bring it back to my rap and like just it's kind of like I'm not going to call it Tame and Paula rap, but like, yeah, just more psychedelic. Yeah. It's yeah. like he found his lane. It is Tame and Paula rap, though. I mean, it is. That's that's the best way to describe it for multiple people to understand. Yeah, yeah. He found his lane. I think he's doing really good in it. I, yeah. I like the fact they made this change up because Lil Boat Three was mm-hmm. awful. He had. That's the thing about him though is he'll drop these like crazy songs like Yay Energy or mm. uh, Coffin, and they're so hard. Like he can do that out of nowhere. He can do a hard song, but I think this is better. I think this is more progressive, and I think he's making a different sort of sound, which is cool. Yeah, for yeah. sure. How about you? You already know I got to go hot milk. Mm, I have to. I fucking love hot milk. I've talked about them in our first top angst people you need to be listening to. If you haven't seen that, check it out after this uh, if you're about the angst life. And they kind of did the thing that I don't like where they release like half of the album as singles. They did. I'm just like, why? Why? Because then it just kind of, the album comes and you only there's like three or four new songs on there and not that it spoils the album but it just gives you less new stuff i say it's like you do three singles max and that's if you have like a 15 song album so there's still a lot of new ones i think it's i mean it is an album but i think it's only like 11 songs or something but oh my god man like hot milk just delivers they've kind of developed their sound a little more sounds a little more techno influence not techno influence Mm. but like more electronic with their sound like fuller sound and han and jim just know how to fucking let it rip on the vocals man i i love them but the other thing and i've just kind of been on an angst wave because the week before and i didn't start listening to this until like thursday of this week was bearings Mm -hmm. this is what i was telling you about yep another pop punk band very small uh well a lot smaller than hot milk and they just they let it rip on their album too it's so good Mm -hmm. like they just do a really good job it's like everything you like about bands like um some 41 Mm -hmm. and uh, some 41 has the i'm just a kid that's them, right? I'm kind of blanking on I it. I think so. Either way, it's I only like, know like three songs by them. They're like, yeah, people. You have yeah, the, like their stand up songs, but it's like yeah. some 41. Everything you love about them, everything you love about All American Rejects, mm-hmm. and then like sprinkle in a little bit like Rise Against Angst in there, and it's like they just channeled that shit, and they just improved time and time again. They've been putting out a lot of music, and their new, I guess it's an album. It's not an EP. Uh, something about being human. I forget the name of it, but it's so good. Anyone that has a little bit of angst in their life needs to listen to that. Bearings. Bearings. I just added the Hot Milk album. I don't know how I missed that, but yeah, Bearings it's... will be added as well. Both great bands. And it's it's a fun changeup. So switching gears to like what vibe I've been on music-wise, mm-hmm. I was on the big soft boy vibes for the last week. I was heavy on, I don't know if I was just like having a down week or what, but it was 
Casey Musgraves, mm-hmm. Lizzie McAlpine, right. and Kate, and then Mac Miller. <laughs> it was like what? just soft. What a combo. Soft as can be. Yeah. Like when I'm saying Mac Miller, I'm talking about swimming in circles. Like those two getting in my feels, just driving to work. I don't know if I was just pissed off at work and not enjoying it or what, but those were like, that's the vibe I was on. That's what made me think about doing the next video mm-hmm. of like, yeah, we should do top female artist, and, yeah. which is what we're about to record right after this. But we'll preview. Yeah. I was heavy on the spacey Casey, mm-hmm. the Kate and the Lizzie. I was just like, Oh, something's hitting in my soul right now. And it was good. Yeah. I mean, that's a vibe. That's yeah. that's the vibe I love. A little moody. A little moody boy. A little moody female vocal vibe. Yeah. And Mac Miller. I mean, moody Mac Miller, too. Yeah. God. Yeah. R.I.P. to the legend. Dang. Well, that's sick. What have I been listening to this week? <laughs> you ready for this title? <laughs> A little trauma can be illuminating, and I'm shining like the sun. Is that your playlist name? No, that's a title of this track by no. Suicide Boys. <laughs> <laughs> wait suicide boys yeah oh my god i was not expecting that i love answer. suicide boys right now i love You've like always love suicide boys a little bit like i've i've definitely had my songs where i like them but i haven't listened to albums and like really listen to all their songs now more so it started from my funk phase and then i was like oh suicide boys just makes funk but makes it a rap song tell the people what funk is for yeah yeah. all the people that don't know because if you don't know what funk is it's basically like you take a memphis rap sample and then put like cowbell and house music under it and it's just like intensity driving music basically it's when you talk about the cowbell that i'm really like what the fuck are we talking about yeah the cowbell sounds weird but it's just like a pitched cowbell and that's works the main noise in these tracks but it's big and like gym culture like gym people listen to fuck funk in the gym the gym art of the gym at, like and just the kids coming up they all love funk they're like i only listen to funk and that's I, mean, it. I, I believe you i'm just yeah i mean it's it's a weird subgenre of thing that's just kind of evolved over time but it sounds really good with like dark rap or just darker samples over it anyway that's what i've been into Nice. Darker rap right now. We were just on the complete opposite <laughs> ends of the spectrum on that. Yeah. I also have another song, Charlie by Chesley, which is more of like a moodier. It reminds me of like, I don't know, running through the forest as a child with no shoes on and just feeling the wind in your hair. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what type of music this could be. Then. <laughs> or like you're you're with your boys and you're like 13 and you guys got a bonfire. Nobody's drinking yet and everybody has flip phones and it's a vibe. And you put that song on. You're like, God damn it. This life is good. That makes me think about like I'm picturing like Tame Impala, like eventually, like just the chorus of it running through the woods barefoot as a child. It's, it's like it's pure yeah it's almost euphoric boom very so it's, euphoric it's like tame impala ish yeah it's like just a just a real good vibe okay yeah 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 it's good well, i'll check that out too yeah y'all check that out if y'all y'all check that yeah. out man check out chesley check out chesley. That's his name well sweet yeah. that about does it let us know what y'all have been listening to what do you think about Trump being 215 pounds. Y'all think that's a load of shit? Because we all know it is. It is. He's, but, uh, he's yeah. heavy. He, he's a big boy. He's, he's more of a Leo Beast. He's a chonker. Waist to hip ratio is off the chains with that guy. Mm. So, yeah, we hope y'all enjoyed our weekly roundup. Let us know what you're listening to in the comments. And yeah. we'll see you guys on the next one. Later, y'all.